Hey, so if you're going to make the transition from acoustic guitar and play electric, there are a lot of things that you need to consider, but I have five things that you need to first think about before you start jumping into playing electric guitar, things that you need to be aware of. See, when I first started playing guitar, I was an acoustic guitar player and I didn't know much. All I knew was that uh, I played in my bedroom and I, I played in different places and then I finally started playing at, at different churches um, and playing up on stage and I realized there was a pretty large learning curve and amplification in my acoustic guitar. Over the years, I transitioned from um, acoustic guitar to electric guitar and going back and forth and leading in worship and singing. So I pretty much uh, do a lot of the leading, uh, but I also play electric guitar or acoustic. And over the years, I've learned how to kind of get better um, in terms of being able to play electric guitar. So there's approaches that you need to take or you need to understand that are different uh, for the electric guitar than there are for the acoustic. And not only that, but there's also gear. There's a lot of things to consider. So the first thing is a different playing technique. Uh, while many of the basic playing techniques, uh, chords and scales, they're, you know, they're transferable between the two instruments, electric guitar and acoustic, but there's some techniques that you need to be kind of aware of. For instance, when you're playing uh, acoustic guitar, you can't, uh, you can just kind of like play really hard, but a electric guitar, as you just heard, you can't necessarily strum like, like that. You have to use a different technique. You have to use a lighter touch. So, you can also use different types of, uh, of movements, like for instance, so kind of bar chords, you'll use uh, muting techniques, tremolo, you know, vibrato, string bends, all those different types of things. It's, uh, that's like one of the reasons probably why you wanted to learn how to play electric guitar is because you just want some power. When you play acoustic guitar, you don't have a lot of power, but electric, you definitely have it. But in doing so, you have to understand that there are techniques that you need to utilize uh, in order to be able to play a electric guitar more efficiently. We'll get into that in a, in a second. The next thing is you need to consider uh, amplification because by itself, the electric guitar doesn't really make any noise. It's going to need something to amplify uh, itself. So that moving from just the guitar itself and learning the different styles and techniques, you have now learning about the learning curve of an amplifier and what there are so many different types of amplifiers out there. It's you kind of get lost in the weeds. Um, I have another video for you that is kind of kind of give you an opportunity just to see what a starter kit uh, looks like. Uh, they sell it from Sweetwater. It's a Squire. Uh, I'm going to have that video link here um, description box below. You can take a look at it. And, uh, and see what it would look like if you just wanted to go ahead and buy a, a complete package instead of buying an amplifier like this amplifier here, this Carbon Legacy. I uh, had a video on it uh, several weeks ago and they don't make them anymore. <laughs> this thing is, is awesome. It's a tube amplifier and there's tube amplifiers and, and solid state amplifiers. There's uh, a lot of different types of, diff of amplifiers. There's full uh, full stacks, you've seen those in the old, uh, maybe the 70s, they have these giant speakers. This is a combo amp, so it actually has two uh, channels. There's a clean and an overdrive channel. Um, the other thing too with amplifiers is when you're playing, um, you know, you can play soft, but also the amplifier will drive the sound for you. So you don't have to like, think that you'd be playing hard but you're really not the amplifier is doing a lot of that work for you and then there's also the settings bass mid uh, treble and then the next step beyond that just so you can not be overwhelmed because I was totally overwhelmed when I was learning how to how this all worked. there's also effects pedals so in between before the guitar to the amplifier there's pedals you've probably seen artists kind of stepping on these pedals this amp in particular has um, effects that I can send it to the back and it's a, a send and a return. So I can actually not act um, have it before the guitar. It actually runs into the back of the amp and creates like a loop. It 
kind of kind of creates a circuit. Um, that's probably the best way to run it. But you know, so here you are. You're trying to learn how to play electric guitar. Now you've got a you got this electric. Then you got an amp. Now you have to buy pedals. It's like when does it end? And it really doesn't ever stop. You're always looking for this one word, and it's tone. You are looking for the tone that you want to make, whether that's heavy distortion, something really, um, really full and vibey with a lot of reverb or delay. And even that, those definitions of those words, you're like, wait, what is reverb? What is delay? Uh, what is chorus? What are these sounds that you're, you're supposed to make? Don't worry. What you'll do is you'll just need to learn first, kind of the basics, the foundation, so you can you just figure out what the pedals do, but don't really worry about the pedals in the very beginning. Just be concerned with getting yourself oriented with the electric guitar and the amplifier. The difference uh, you'll also find with acoustic guitar to electric guitar is the string gauge. The string gauge on this uh, D'Angelico is much lighter than my acoustic. So. Uh, on my um, acoustic guitar, I, I run mediums or lights, uh, an acoustic gauge, so they're thicker strings. When I go to the uh, um, electric guitar, I have some here. Uh, these are the Diodario um, XLs, and these are nines, so these are a little bit uh, smaller in, in diameter. They're easier to bend, well, which is great, when you're trying to bend, um, you know, when you're intentionally bending something like this, that works. But when you're just making a chord, sometimes our acoustic fingers are so strong <laughs> that we start bending the note out of tune or out of intonation. Um, and we basically make an improper chord voicing because our fingers are just ripping on these things so hard. So when you play electric guitar, you don't have to play as hard. I've actually heard many people say that it's probably better to uh, learn on electric guitar as opposed to acoustic because it's easier to make the chord formations. Um, I learned on acoustic first. I actually learned on a really, really awful <laughs> acoustic guitar, um, the action, which the word action is basically the space between the strings and the fret, was so high. It actually helped me learn uh, some dexterity. Um, it wasn't enjoyable to play. I immediately went to another guitar. But learning how to play on an acoustic guitar that isn't so good is actually kind of helpful. So when it comes to electric guitar, I can really relax and play. So if that's an option for you, if acoustic guitar isn't really kind of working out, you can go to the electric guitar. But these are the things that you need to consider. Uh, not only with string gauge, but also now you are amplified. You are playing an electric guitar and electric guitar uh, players are notoriously loud. We just like things loud, especially if, if you're wanting to play with a group in a smaller environment, let's say at a coffee shop, you have to be very aware of the volume at which you're playing uh, so that it doesn't override the main speakers or override the other instrumentalists. You always want to play with each other in terms of keeping the sound levels really comfortable. Your front of house engineer will really <laughs> really uh, like that. But if you're not even considering playing in a band or anything like that, you can just rock out at your house um, and play as, as much as you want, as loud as you want. You know, uh, my buddy just bought an, an amplifier and he said that amplifier clears the room. <laughs> it allows him to play uh, to his heart's content. So we're going to have more videos about what this is all about, more things about the electric guitar. But this is just an idea to give you five things for you to get started, just to kind of be aware of. There's lots and lots of things, but the most important thing is do not get overwhelmed with all of this information, all these YouTube videos, all these things. You, you have to go out and buy this pedal, you have to buy this amp, you have to buy this electric guitar, and you know, you're know you trying to create this sound and you spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Just, just slow down and remember why you're playing in the first place. It's because you love it and you love the sound of an electric guitar. And that's the piece that you have, is just playing. You know, you can give a $100 guitar to a professional musician and they can make that thing sing. But the reason why is because all in the way that they touch it. So just learn how to touch the electric guitar. It, it requires a different type of finesse and different type of touch than an acoustic, but I definitely think that you'll enjoy it. And we'll see you guys in the next video.